This is my toy car that has to take me over 500 miles all the way from the Friendship Fountain in Jacksonville, Florida to the finish line in Key West. Yesterday, the wheel fell off my toy car when we turned it sideways to carry it into our hotel room in Daytona Beach. So right now, we're completely stuck at this hotel until Fredo Toys sends us a new part to fix the tire. Even days where we aren't making any progress toward the finish line, we are required to make a 10-minute vlog to submit to Guinness World Records about what we did that day. So today, you'll be watching the exact video that we're going to send them at the end of this insane Channel. We're attempting to go over 500 miles in a toy car for a Guinness World Record attempt, and today's day 13. It's the first day that we have a balcony view of the ocean for sunrise, so you better believe that we're awake right now. Check out this balcony view. Whoa, the sunrise looks amazing. We're still waiting for the sun to fully come up though. I keep being afraid that I'm gonna drop my phone down there. This is not a drill. It's happening. It's finally happening. We are anxiously awaiting the sunrise. That was amazing. Now it's time for getting ready and free breakfast. I gotta hurry and get ready because there's nothing I love more than free breakfast. <laughs> now it's time to head to breakfast. It smells so good. If you missed yesterday's vlog, my toy car is currently broken and we're stuck at this hotel until it's fixed. We're hoping we'll get a spare part by tomorrow, but this is what happened. This wheel fell off when we were trying to get it into the hotel room yesterday and it turns out it's completely missing the bearing. The bearing is the center part. This is just a gaping hole, but this one has this little piece in it. It's also missing these three pieces. I'm not sure where on the road it all fell out, but when we turned it sideways to lift it through the hotel room last night, the wheel just literally fell off. I'm really happy that didn't happen while I was driving. That means we're sticking at the hotel for today and maybe tomorrow, depending on if the park comes in to this hotel in the morning. Fredo Toys is overnighting those pieces directly to this hotel. They are amazing. At least we happen to get stuck in a hotel with a view. The next thing I need to do today is laundry. I am out of clean clothes. I'm gonna do it in the sink because I have so few pieces of clothing. It doesn't seem worth paying for laundry at these more expensive hotels. I was about to do the laundry in the sink. I was like mid saying that, but then I thought about it and I'm just gonna see how much it costs. We're gonna call the front desk. All of this stuff is our battery station for charging our cars. The phone doesn't work. What? It's not making any noises. Oh. Gallery host, which one that? What's gallery host? I don't know who it's calling. <laughs> Hi, Um. do you guys have laundry? Fourth floor, awesome, all right, perfect. And is it neat coins? Yes, it does. Okay, um, do you have coins at the desk if I swap out like dollars? Okay, perfect, thank you so much. My plan, I think, is to go check how much it is on the fourth floor, and then, if it's expensive, maybe I'll just do a wash, and then hang everything up to dry on the balcony. Or not hang it, because it might fall off the balcony. <laughs> Lay it out to dry on the balcony. That's the potential plan.
found it. Oh no. Okay. Let's see the, the prices, baby. Three dollars just to wash my clothes? I don't know, that seems more expensive than anywhere else I've seen. But it'll probably take me an hour to do it in the sink, so probably worth it. It's weird, I'm like cheap when it comes to certain things, but not when it comes to other things. Like this hotel was not cheap, but I was okay with spending the money because I really wanted free breakfast. <laughs> but I don't want to spend $3 on laundry. Girl bad. I'm not gonna spend $3 on drying it though. I'm just gonna do a wash. Call me cheap if you want. It's true. Now we have to go get quarters from downstairs. I just changed my mind. I'm gonna do my clothes in the sink, and you know why? Because the only things that are dirty are shirts and socks. It's only three pairs of shorts and four pairs of socks. That's like over a dollar a shirt. I'm gonna do it in the sink. <laughs> this is all of the clothes. You see what I'm saying? It's like not worth a wash. It's three shirts and four pairs of socks. So I'm gonna do it right here. <laughs> this whole world record is costing thousands upon thousands of dollars, but paying for my socks in the washing machine is where I draw the line. I wish I filmed what I went through to try to get this chair out here. It was so difficult to lift it up over both of the cars and get it out the balcony door. series except for my PJs is part of our fundraiser to help save animals. I don't know if you've noticed but I wear animal socks every day and each sock helps save the animal that the sock is. These ones are perfect with Easter coming up. These ones help save bunnies, these ones help save monkeys, and these shirts help save cats and dogs. Same with this one. The link to support the fundraiser is in my bio or you could buy merch and that also helps save animals and is part of our fundraiser. The socks are my favorite. We have just been chugging away at work on our laptops for hours and now I'm starving. So it's time to eat the leftover breakfast from the cup. This one has a hash brown in it, eggs and bacon. And this cup has yogurt and fruit. Our goal is to not have to really leave the hotel room much today. Because Lauren's been killing it getting the logbook done. And I've been looking through our GPS coordinates for Guinness World Records to make sure everything's on par to send to them. And I've been sorting the footage for this vlog. Let's eat because I'm starting to get dizzy. I don't know why, but for some reason, even though this is one of the most expensive hotels, they only have a microwave downstairs. So we gotta go make a little trip down. It's just as good as when I had it this morning. Bon appetit! We just got really big news. We're gonna receive the spare part for our wheel tomorrow by noon, which means we can get on the road tomorrow, which I'm so excited. I feel like there's just been too many days where we haven't been able to move and we gotta get back on the road. I'm downstairs working now to have a change of scenery. in the hotel room. And I have a very important thing that I've been putting off. 
I have to put this nail polish on these stickers. I have two new stickers on my car. And at any point in this world record, we could get caught in rain. If we get caught in rain, we need to protect the stickers against water. Which Lauren had this idea to get nail polish to cover the stickers. We already covered the first two stickers the other day, but I just got these other stickers the last time we were driving. So now they need nail polish to cover them in case we get caught in a rainstorm, which I'm hoping doesn't happen. But in the next over six weeks, it might. I don't know why this happened, but I just know that my sticker is bubbling up like crazy. It has all these air bubbles in it. I don't know if I messed up when I put it on. I'm just noticing it now, but there's an air bubble there. And the Daytona Beach one has so many. There's one right here. There's one right here. I'm just gonna have to accept it. I want to keep this car so bad after the world record, but I don't have a spot in my house to put it because it's so big. I would literally have to build a shed, which I'm actually debating on. But if I only can keep one part of this car, it's gonna be the hood of the car, which is why we're decorating it with stickers from all the different awesome locations along our route. In the last vlog, we passed Ormond Beach and we're in Daytona Beach now. I'm really sorry about the lighting in this vlog. I can't find my camera light anywhere. The room is a disaster. Lauren was just saying that she has no idea how all of this stuff somehow fits in our toy cars with us. It literally doesn't, it literally doesn't even make sense. Like this all gets out of here and goes into the toy cars. Tell me how, like, like what? First sticker. Yeah. I just realized that the sticker is turning my clear nail polish red. Do you see the tip of this? It's supposed to be clear and it's red. Why is the sticker coming off on the thing? The next task of the night is to plug in all the batteries. Tomorrow's a really big driving day for us. And this is our charging station. It always just looks like a mess in the hotel room. I know it looks messy now, but we're gonna fix it. There's a battery missing somewhere in the chaos of this room. I just realized there's only five here and we're supposed to have six. Lauren's looking to see if she can find it anywhere, but the room is a mess for just being a one room hotel room. So hopefully she can find it because we desperately need that. So it's gotta be in here, right? What the fuck? These are all plugged in, but now we have to find the missing battery. It's not behind the trash can. Behind the leaves, no, those are seats for the car. It's not gonna be on the bed. Hmm, it's the umbrella and everything. Huh, this isn't good. I'm waiting for you to come to the same level of panic that I am right now. Waiting for you to rise to the occasion, Cassie. No. <laughs> it's not in the cars, I don't understand why it would be in the cars, but. Do you think when the wheel fell off, we like panicked and like left a battery? No, but we looked for the piece, it couldn't be. How are we missing a battery right Dude. now? Guys, we need that battery to function tomorrow. Like, we will not be okay without that battery. Oh my God. You got it? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> because uh -oh. here's the problem. The hood takes two batteries at a time. So if we're missing a battery, we're technically missing two. We can't even swap them out, which means we each only have one set. There, It has to be in the room. All right, we're, we're gonna keep looking. <laughs> We figured it out. My car is still missing this wheel and we propped up my car on a battery to hold it up off the ground. Like below this pillow, there's a battery. So we have to find something else to replace the battery so my car can stay propped up overnight and then we'll plug in the battery. Okay, try now. All right, so, looks good, we got the battery. Three pillows had to be sacrificed, but it's propped up. officially all charging up. So we'll be prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow we have to go over 15 miles. I still don't have a spare set of batteries. My boyfriend Brandon was supposed to come to give us a spare set of batteries the other day, but he ended up staying in Tampa because he has a lot of work to do and we couldn't get on the road anyway. And we weren't sure if we were gonna need him to bring us spare tires. It turned out that the manufacturer was able to ship them directly to this hotel, but we didn't know that in the beginning. So he will be joining us, but not for two more days. So I still do not have a spare set of batteries for my car. Lauren still does. Her car still has two sets of batteries, so she can go like 20 to 
22 miles in a day, but I can only go like 11, 10 to 15. Let's say 10 to 15. It just depends on the terrain. And I don't know what tomorrow's terrain is. The more stops and goes we have, the less the battery lasts. If it's a bike lane and there's like very little bumps, that's when the battery lasts the longest. So tomorrow we might need to stop for a three hour charge in the middle of the day. We still do not have the part that we need to put this tire back on the car. But Fredo Toys are amazing manufacturer of these cars that we literally love. They overnighted us the part we need. The tracking says it should be to us by noon tomorrow. We're gonna request a late check out in the morning and hopefully they'll give it to us because we really don't want to have to try to move this car without a wheel on it. We would literally have to then pick up the car and carry it across the hotel because we can't roll it. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. But even if we request late checkout, they usually only give us till 12, so we really need the part to arrive earlier than what the tracking says. Basically, we need a lot of miracles to happen tomorrow. And fingers crossed we can get back on the road and everything turns out just fine. Within the next two days, we're basically driving into the middle of nowhere, so I really need that spare set of batteries. So I told my boyfriend, Brian, he needs to show up within the next two days because if he doesn't, we'll literally be stuck. We can't go into the middle of nowhere without another set of batteries. It would be 100% a failure. So wish us luck that in tomorrow's vlog, we can get back on the road smoothly and be on the road again, baby. Because we have a lot of ground we need to catch up. We are definitely not on a good schedule right now. We need to make up some ground and fix that because we've had a lot of things go wrong so far. And we need that to stop happening. We just checked what day today is and it's day 14. It's been officially two weeks on the road. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like we've been on the road for two seconds, but I guess it's day 14. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for day 15. If there's one day we need everything to go right, it's tomorrow, so wish us luck. And hopefully you get back on the road smoothly. Oh, and I forgot to mention how much we've raised for animals so far. I'm still living in the future from you guys, but we are just shy of $2,000. And in tomorrow's vlog, we're gonna officially name this little guy. The top donor gets to name the two stuffed animals that ride on my car, and I can't wait for them to have names. So we'll see that in tomorrow's vlog too. All right, love you guys. See you tomorrow for day 15. Now it's time to see our logbook for day 14. The miles left until we break the record is 362 miles, but the finish line is even further, so we got 461 miles till the finish line. And this is where we're at right now. So our progress is still the same as day 13. These are the speeds that we went yesterday, but really what matters is the total distance so far. We're at 135 miles so far since we left the starting line. The only photo we have from day 14 is this one of Lauren working on the logbook, and it was an all day rest day. We were at the Hyatt Place in Daytona Beach, and this photo was taken at 3.34 p.m.